As I was on the plane today, I got into a conversation with a lady who was really curious. She had a lot of questions for me and she was asking me how I ended up moving out of my hometown and moving to a new city uh, as a young adult. She was in a situation where she wants to move, but she's just not 100% sure how to go about it. And basically there's a few things that I think if you focus on these two or three things, it'll help you make the move so much easier. So in this episode, episode 82 of the Free Your Energy podcast, we are going to free our energy around the idea of moving to a new city. So let me go back and tell you my story. Uh, Born and raised in Chicago, Illinois, Bears fan, Blackhawks fan, Cubs fan, of course, White Sox fan as well. But if I have to pick, I'll pick the Cubs. High school, college, uh, all done in Illinois and lived all over Illinois. For my people who are in Illinois, you know, I've lived on the south side of Chicago. Uh, I've lived in DeKalb. I've lived in Palatine, Rockford, been all over that place, man. What happened for me is because I had some traumatic experiences growing up, I felt like there was a lot of reminders of the pain that I had went through and I felt myself really wanting to heal. I mean, for me, this is the primary reason for, for moving and also Growing up in Chicago, I personally never felt like it was home. Even though it's home, it's where I'm from, me personally, I never, it never felt like home. I always felt like a visitor. Always, always, always. Like I always felt like there was somewhere else I was supposed to be. And so when I got the, the opportunity to travel, I took it. Every, every chance that I got to travel, as soon as I could, I took it. When it came to moving, uh, I wanted to move to California. This was, so you gotta go back to 2012. I grew up a Kobe Bryant fan. I grew up a Lakers fan. Tupac is my favorite rapper, you know, one of my favorite rappers. So I just I just grew up with this affinity, like most people, for Los Angeles and just loving California. And also, I mean, I'm a writer. So when, when it came down to it, I was thinking, man, I could just go out to Cali, just like a lot, how everyone else is. I go out to Cali, I can have other creative friends. You know, we can motivate each other, challenge each other, maybe help each other get different gigs, different jobs. This was my mindset. But what ended up happening is I realized one thing that, I don't know, maybe some people can relate to this, but in my situation, I didn't have any family support financially. And I had a pretty good uh, sales job that I was doing. I was working in sales management and I was leading one of the one of the best teams in the country. So I had a good financial situation. I, I had a good stable financial situation. This is before I quit my job and became an entrepreneur. I had a very good, uh, I was working in corporate America. I had a good job. I was living in Chicago. Promotions came up. Uh, and so I was eligible for a promotion. I was a top performer. I had, uh, you know, I had been in time and title. And so I applied for different jobs in California, Arizona, and Florida. Um, those are like kind of my, t those are like my top three states at the time where I say, yeah, you know what? I could live in one of those three states. So of course I was banking on getting a job in LA. I just really wanted to be in LA. I got a job offer to in Bakers Bakersfield, California. And then I got one in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. So I took Phoenix. I said, hey, I don't know. I don't know anything about Phoenix. So I just took the opportunity. Uh, I didn't have that much money saved up. I didn't I didn't know anybody out here. I didn't know how long I was going to be in Phoenix. I, I had no no plan. I just say, hey, I know that it's time to go because I want to heal. Like I want to heal. I want to I want to find myself. I want to go on a discovery of creating who I want to be. You know, I don't want to just be what I've been in Chicago, living around who I've lived around and hanging around who I've hanged around. And I want to transcend my own patterns. I want to transcend my own past. I want to become who I want to become. I don't want to be who you guys think I am or whoever you want me to be. Or, you know, the thing about living in the same place for, for a while is everybody knows your past and then they hold you to your past. If you were, let's say you were the jock, you know, they hold you to the expectations of whatever the jock archetype is, you know? If you were the clumsy person, they're going to always expect you to be clumsy. Sometimes when you're in groups of people that have known you for a while, because they expect you to behave or to be a certain way, they don't let you grow, you know? They don't, you might've been the clumsy jock, you know, but now you're the nerd who is not clumsy. But they're not going to actually see that sometimes. Like sometimes people can't see your growth because they don't have any growth. I felt like that's what was happening for me. 
you know, is I felt like I was becoming this version of me. I knew I needed a lot of work. When I would bring up the work that I wanted to do, like, hey, you know, I want to go to therapy. I want to uh, I want to dive deeper into my writing, into like the more intellectual side, because I had been an athlete my whole life. And so I remember just telling people, like, I really want to dive into like the intellectual side. I want to get really good at telling stories and, you know, just mastering words and, and language. Um, because I want to use that in my art and like I remember I used to go to open mics so I used to go to open mics and I used to just do poetry at open mics and I would just have all this poetry in my head you know I'm not gonna say any names because these people follow me here but there's just certain people in my in my circle back in the day who when I would invite them to these open mics they're just like oh no I'm not going to that that's that's stupid but I still went I still went and I still did it because it was something inside of me that needed to expand so that's where I was at. I was at this point where I did get a new job offer and I just felt like I needed to expand. I needed to, needed new social circles. And that's not to shame or to put down anyone. That's not to discredit any of the, the efforts that people have put into my life. That's not to discredit any of the good times and the laughters. I mean, the 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 just the great times that I've had with people back in, in Chicago and Illinois where I'm from. The number one thing I want you to remember, if you're thinking about moving, you're thinking about moving out of your hometown. I even wrote this down here. You have to remember that your personal growth is honestly the most important thing. So if you're thinking like, man, I don't want to move because I got this memory with this person and this is good and this is great. And, you know, this is about you and it's OK to be selfish. It's OK to expand yourself. And I want you to remember that. Moving, if you wanna move out of your hometown, that's about your personal growth. You're allowed to do that. You are allowed to move out of your hometown. That doesn't mean that you're turning your back on your friends and your family. It doesn't mean that you don't give a damn about them. It means that you are seeking an expansion in your personal growth and you are allowed to do that. So always keep that in mind. The other tip I really, really wanna give you is this. You know, you have to allow yourself to be changed too. When you move, you're not going to be the same person. If you move from one state to another state, let's say you live in America, you know, the states are vastly different. I don't I don't know if people really realize that. Like the states are vastly different. Texas is I'm in Texas recording this right now. I'm in Dallas. Dallas is super different than than San Diego, California. I mean, it's a completely different energy completely different vibration completely different uh activities you know if you live in new york you know I, I lived in long island new york uh with my friend joe for a summer you know i lived in uh elkhart indiana with my friend marcus for a summer i mean different everything is different one thing i realized was hey i'm taking my chicago mindset to a new place but there's parts of it that i'm i'm gonna keep like i'm gonna be a bears fan i'm gonna be a cubs fan I'm going to enjoy pizza. <laughs> you know, there's certain things that are a part of that culture that I'm going to keep. But I also, I felt like the best way for me to grow was to allow certain, especially something that may have been toxic or low vibrational, to like allow that to fade away and to replace that with something positive or something, something insightful or intellectual from the new space. So you got to allow yourself to grow in the new spaces too. Like that's the point of a new space. A new space is going to teach you. So you have to allow it to teach you. You have to allow it to expand you, you know? So that's why I love traveling, you know? Because when you travel, you're going into different customs. You're going into different spaces, different ideas. Uh, people live differently than you and you can pick up on different things that they do. And then you can add that to your platform. Like, okay, you guys, you guys do that. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, you guys. You know, meditate in the morning. Oh, okay, let me take that. Oh, you guys do sushi for lunch. Okay, let me, I never even had sushi. Let me try it. Okay, cool. I, I love sushi now. Let me do sushi for lunch. You know, so you just got to kind of pick up on different things. But if you're not willing to grow, if you're not really willing to expand, what's the point of moving? And the last thing that I wanted to say is this. Moving physically also allows you to move emotionally and intellectually. So you get a holistic move. You're not just moving your body. You're moving your entire well-being. You're, you're moving your entire humanity. Ask anybody you know who has moved out of their hometown. And that's who this that's who this podcast is for. This podcast is for the person who has never moved out of their hometown and they're thinking about it and they're considering and they just they just need a little push. I feel like this season of our lives, the season, you know, that is during COVID and after COVID, 
you know i don't know everyone's different where they're at everyone is different but this season this is the best season to move there's so much change is happening right now in the world why don't you change if you're thinking of moving why not do it now why not do it now i saw the other day that the rents in san francisco are down 36 percent which they should be because they were outrageous anyways so my friends if you are thinking of moving i'm gonna tell you this it might be scary you might not have a lot of friends at first you might not know the street names you might get lost but that's all good you know you're moving for your growth you're moving for your expansion you're actually making the other people in your neighborhood better by moving because the next time they see you the next time they talk to you they're going to talk to you after you have expanded and grown and gone and seen and saw and it's going to be beautiful it's going to help you free your energy thank you for listening to this episode of the free your energy podcast and if you can see this that means you're watching the video version of the free your energy podcast make sure you subscribe on all platforms where we stream we do the long form episodes where i interview different guests and we do long form content and talk about different ideas uh over there on you know itunes spotify soundcloud wherever you listen to podcasts my name is Sylvester McNutt the third i'm the best-selling author of eight books i just want to thank you for your time today for your listen and i hope you continue to free <laughs>